don't want to go around this corner fast. I want to go home and make love and make cheese. That's what I like doing most of all, because I'm French. What are you doing going at this speed, you idiotic English tap? Don't be an idiot Englisher. Go back to eating your bacon sandwiches and your edge pizzas. No, do this! I'm going to have a crash and that will hurt me more than it will hurt you. Now stop it! Don't do that! Oh, oh it really did lock there. Whoa. I'm not a supercar, I am a big soft Citroën! No, it's because the French and the French always like to be first. They didn't know how to do the roof thing. It's like the French did that first face transplant. You know? Yes. Oh, we don't know what we're doing. We have the bottom of a baboon. We'll put it on. There we are. It's a face one. We are first. Either way with your theory, the point is... Vi and it feels like quite an angry car as well. Arr, I'm very angry about having such a big bottom. Arr, and I'm completely livid about your EU rebate as well. Of course, like all French things, it smokes. Look at this. Look, look at this. Go off its front. <laughs> I like to smoke my front tires. Oh, yes. I like that uh, very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the really French. It's just I am Pascal, a and my fan of girls respond to this uh, accent. It works very nicely. Please ensure that your luggage is labeled. Your luggage. <laughs> well, maybe when you play the French, yeah, but. Uh... <laughs> oh, yes, that's very nice. No, it's different. I mean, football, what's that prat called? Actually, I tried to, nearly tried to kill a Frenchman on a bicycle the other day. he has got so much rain on his spectacles, you couldn't see where he was going, and then he banged on my car. Well, that was it. <laughs> how did you know he's French? Because he was speaking like an idiot. That is how I knew he was French. I have to say, the French really are very, very good at this sort of thing. They say no to sporty firm suspension and extreme performance, and instead they give us this more sort of considered philosophical approach to luxury. Last time he was there, he was going, France is so good, the police, they mm. just want you to go faster. Yeah. Hey, monsieur, please carry on, you are famous Mr. Clarkson. Jeremy, I was calculating somewhere around here, oh, at the side of the road, talking to a gendarme. Within a few hours' time, he'll be up here in a place called Le Bastille. <laughs> but then, one day, in Paris, there was a meeting. Messieurs, oh. the time has come for us to stop making this spotty car. Mon dieu. Sacre But what shall you do instead? Uh, Coltangers, umbrella. How is this for a plan? We make terrible cars. In every way, horrible. Maybe très ugly. Oh, well, well. Yeah, the engine très horrible. Oh, nasty, yeah. unreliable, yeah. uncomfortable. Elle en théorie. Fabrique en spit et Kleenex. Spit et Kleenex, oui, oui, oui. Well, well, well. C'est une bonne idée, n'est-ce pas? Oh, oui? Ne regardez pas un cadeau de cheval dans la bouche. Monsieur, salut la voiture horrible! Oh! Oh! And get the chef the suspension up here so we can fire him immediately. Oh, oh yes! Oh. This breakfast meeting will put Peugeot on the map for many years to come. Make no mistake. Have this never been in motorsport? Yeah. What do you mean? Le Mans, where's that? <laughs> Le Mans. Le Mans. <laughs> <laughs> so they weren't uh, a bit brock. <laughs> exactly. You know? I mean, sort of trap. Well, I mean, carry on, Mr. Clarkson, and then there's a battery of cameras just under the next bridge to nobble you. No, you see, that's not possible. You're not thinking. Because the French still use policemen no. to monitor speeders. It's a crazy idea, They're but not I like cameras. it. <laughs> It's quaint. Yeah, it's old-fashioned. It yeah. 